Hey everyone, hopefully you are all having a great day. I am very excited to talk to you guys today about something new that you will see around our warehouse. You might have remembered the announcement that we posted exclusively on My CV World, and you might have later have seen. It's the introduction of our new Mir robots. Mir is our mobile industrial robot, which will be moving pallets from our packaging QA area over to our international and bulk area to start. Some of you have asked some questions on my CV world regarding the robot. So I of course had to roll up my sleeves and get some answers to those burning questions. One of the first questions we received was, why did Cooper Vision feel it was necessary to invest in this type of technology? Great question. So currently, pallets coming from QA and packaging are currently moved by hand, by an associate, all the way to our Balkan International area. Not only does that start ergonomic risks such as fatigue, back pain, possible injuries, it also does not provide any value added activity for the company. Now what that means is any task that does not add value and that our customers would not pay us for. For example, a job like picking, shipping, scanning, that does provide value to the company. Anything like moving pallets back and forth a lot throughout the day or recycling cardboard, that does not add any value to the company. Another question that we received was, how long did it take for Cooper Vision to make a decision about which robot we should have at our West Henrietta Distribution Center? Another great question. And it actually happened in a relatively short time. Our continuous improvement team researched 10 different companies and their robots. They interviewed three of those 10. They went through the advantages and disadvantages of each of those three company robots and that's when they discovered that the Mir robot would be best for our facility. And that happened all within a short few months. And you should start to see these robots active within the first to second week of June. Our next question was, what are some things that we should know about the robot? We are going to be doing a Rules of the Road video, which you should see shortly. But until then, the top three things that we should know are safety. These robots are safe and they have been tested multiple times by our continuous improvement team. It has sensors, so if it gets close to you and you are inside their little bubble, you will not get your toes ran over, it will not hurt you, it will automatically stop. But the thing that we have to know is that the robot has the right of way. Sometimes it has a little bit of trouble backing out or around in one way cross paths. So where the supervisors sit um, by the receiving doors, that's a one way path and it has a little trouble backing up and navigating. So if you see the robot struggle, just give it some space, let it figure its way out, and it'll pass, and then you can pass. So again, the robots do have the right of way. And lastly, once these robots go live, which will hopefully be within the next few weeks in June, uh, you will see Eamon, who's our continuous improvement co-op, and Mark, who will be making sure these robots go around the facility without problems as well as making sure it's doing its tasks what they need to do. So I know it's going to be strange seeing robots around so don't be too nervous. Just give it space but it's really cool to look at. One of the questions we received was will the robots be working on all three shifts? Another great question. Yes, it will. But in the meantime, the robot will only be working on first shift. This allows our continuous improvement team to monitor the robot and make sure it's working as intended. Now, we did purchase a total of two robots. The other robot is not in service right now, but our hope is that it will be soon, and that way we could have it on all three shifts. 
Another great question we received was, will there be other forms of technology in the facility, especially regarding the expansion? And the answer is yes. Our continuous improvement team is always looking for departments that want to change things or maybe implement new technology in their area. So while there's nothing additionally right now besides our new Mir robots, I do foresee in the future that there'll be some new exciting technology at Cooper Vision. Some really cool facts that I wanted to share with you, which was not a question, but thought you guys want to know, is some of the advantages of our robot. And I got some of these answers from our continuous improvement team. So the advantage of the robot, it has a flexible platform, so it can hold plastic pallets as well as wood pallets, which is nice because sometimes our product comes on different things, and you probably have seen both types of pallets. This robot has a very long battery life and it has a 15 hour run time. And it only takes one hour to charge. So that is some fantastic stats. Also, I wanted to share some really interesting facts about when an associate brings product from packaging to uh, the bulk international area, they do that 10 to 20 times a day and it's over 500 feet from point A to point B. So there are a lot of miles on the employee's shoes that will now be the robot's responsibility. Thought that was some pretty cool stuff you'd wanna know. I hope you guys found this video informative and don't forget, the Rules of the Road video will be posted later on, so keep a lookout for that. As always, if you have any questions regarding the robot, you can visit any member of our continuous improvement team, or if you hop on My CV World under the CNN news page, you will see a blurb about the Mir robot where you can ask a question and one of the CI teams will get back to you. You can also take this time to look at some additional questions that we did not answer in this video today on that same page as well. Thank you so much for your time, and if you see the robot, tell them I said hi. Bye!